Hey guys, Doug the Michigan Piper coming to you from the Pipe Rest, and uh, I am smoking trusty old Dr. Grable Savoy in it, trusty old Captain Black Platinum. Um, if you haven't tried this Platinum yet, uh, good stuff. Um, it's not the most aromatic uh, tobacco, but if you're good, if you're down for a good burly. And, uh, you know, you, you like the subtleties of a good burly. This is, this is your, your gig. Um, Pat Pallet and Piper and I were talking about this and he was egging me on to try to get some of it because I liked the original Prince Albert so much, uh, that, um, we, uh, He's like, you know, this this is like the original Prince Albert, and sure enough, it's it's the closest thing I've tasted. Even in, that's including Prince Albert matches, so it's pretty good stuff. Um, I uh, probably could let it dry just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. Period. I was gonna say a little bit more, but I didn't let it dry at all. I usually don't dry my tobaccos too much. It's, to me, it's just it's like I don't want to wait on it. <laughs> so. The reason why I'm doing this video is uh, for Steve at Smoking Cardboard. Um, Steve is a pretty cool guy, just uh, easy to listen to. And uh, first off, I want to say, Steve, congratulations on your milestone. Um, and uh, thanks for putting that that uh, that gall together. Pretty interesting gall. But uh, Steve asked, you know, what, what have we learned? What's something we've learned in the YTPC that we still use? And, uh, you know, you, you can shout out to, to whoever you, you learn this stuff from. And, uh, you know, I, I've learned so much. Right, I've learned so much through the YTPC. Um, I've lost track. I mean, Steve's like, "Yeah, I learned this from so and so, and so and this from so and so, and this from so and so." And I'm like, "I can't tell you. I just I've watched so many videos. I don't know who I learned what from and what I figured out myself and what I learned. You know, it's been a it's been a a crazy journey so far. And uh, I can tell you though that more, one of the more recent ones that I really liked was from my pipe mentor. Uh, Pat and uh, he told me about these little guys um, and I actually did a video on these uh, but the raw stones um, you know a lot of a lot of weed smokers use these to rehydrate their tobacco and uh, <clears throat> so I heard all the jokes <laughs> um, however it's just this little terracotta stone and uh that's all it is. That's all the bigger it is. And it's not just a stone that he told me about that I liked. Um, it was the fact, this is an extra one. It was the fact that he takes them, let me just open, and puts them on the inside of his mason jar lids, glues them with like a glue gun. And uh, and then you hydrate that with whether it be water or, or uh, uh, you know, I think vodka is one, you know, there's a couple of different things you can, you can hydrate it with. And, uh, you stick it on there, you know, you don't even know what's in there when it's on the jar. And, uh, it does a bang up job of rehydrating your tobacco, which I liked that because that was before that I was using, you know, like a, a cap from a, uh, from a soda bottle or something, putting some water in it, setting it in the middle and waiting and waiting. And this one, I just, I don't know, I, there's no water to worry about. You put a few drops in it and it soaks up the drops and, and then usually it would be. And uh, uh, don't have to worry about knocking that water over in your tobacco or whatever. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that, Pat. And uh, <clears throat> just thought that was a, you know, it'll be a short video today, but I just thought that was, that was the one thing that stuck out in my mind of, as, as of, I've, I've received a lot of information, I will say, as a caveat to this. Um, 
I received a lot of information on things that to do that I haven't done or that I've done and I don't do any longer. And, uh, you know, mutton chops videos are great. Absolutely great. And for any pipe smoker, it's one of the first places that I send them. Um, however, there are some things that he's, he's talked about in there that I no longer do. Doesn't mean that it's bad. Just means that I've either heard a better way or found a better way through, through my, my journey in pipe smoking. So yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of, uh, changes that go on. Um, if you're a newer pipe smoker that, that, that goes on that, you know, you will do things differently. Don't take what you're hearing for gospel. Uh, experiment. Once I got past that disappointment of, you know, I just, you know, I only had time for one smoke and I ruined the smoke and now I'm, you know, there'll be another one and another one. Good Lord willing, right? So um, take your time, experiment, you know, and, and, and go with it. So, uh, guys, sorry if I'm a little puffy eyed. I've been out, out in the sun all day working on the tractor and then we had uh, some fire calls and stuff. So, I'm, this is my nightcap. And uh, I go up and catch a little bit of more of the Notre Dame game. Uh, Notre Dame is about 20 minutes from us. And uh, so i am got that on the TV upstairs. I figured I'd come down and grab a pipe real quick and, and uh, do this VR to Steve. So uh, if you haven't heard of Smoking Cardboard, jump on over there. Like I said, a really easy guy to listen to. And, and Steve, congratulations again, man, on your milestone too. So, um, and guys, I just I just hope you're all doing well. I really do. <laughs> Until next time, you take care.